In this video, we will take a closer look at the One Mo Backpack in Twilight Black from PGY Tech. This is basically two bags in one. There's the backpack with an integrated shoulder bag that can be separated and used for separate storage. The backpack is designed to accommodate drone pilots like you and I that needs to take a drone as well as camera equipment with you on the road. I'm always on the look for the optimal storage solution for my drone and camera equipment when I'm going on the road to record videos here for the channel. So far, the road has been paved with compromises. So I did a lot of research trying to figure out what kind of bag that I actually would like to have. One of the main criteria was there should be a lot of storage space as well as possibilities to customize the layout of the backpack to be able to accommodate my needs. And I honed in on the One Mo from PGY Tech. So even though this is a sponsored video, I decided to reach out to them to ask them if they would send me a One Mo for review here on the channel. And luckily for me, and hopefully also for you, they agreed to do that. That the PTY Tech had no saying in whatever that I'm saying about this backpack. So everything that's being said in this video, I can stand behind. One thing that really strikes you when you unpack this product is that the quality seems sky high. And this is maybe also the reason why they are offering a lifetime warranty on the product. You can get the backpack in two colors, in a twilight black, like the one I got, but you can also get it in camo. So I've had it now for a couple of months, giving me enough time to get familiar with the product. It has a really nice padding on the back as well as the shoulder straps. Each of the shoulder straps have an additional strap that goes across the chest that can be clicked together to help keep the shoulder straps in place, which is very practical when you're out hiking. There are these pouches on the backside that will allow you very conveniently to store the shoulder straps when handling the backpack. You simply just pull it out and then you tuck in the shoulder strap. Very easy and very convenient. One of the things that always seems to cause problems with these type of bags is that they can never stand by themselves. When you set it on something, it actually stands without tilting to either side. That is something that I really love about this bag. The backpack has also all sorts of integrated handles that will allow you to pick it up like a briefcase. That might be super practical if you have to get it in and out of a car or maybe if you're using public transportation. On the left side of the bag, there's a nice expandable pouch that will allow you to store tripods and and stabilizers or whatever that you need quick access for. I brought a monopod that I prefer to store in the expandable side pouch and then nicely secured with the straps for the purpose. On top of the expandable pouch, there is a small compartment that will allow you to store things like ND fillers or SD cards, stuff that you want easy access to when you're on the road. You open the bag by unzipping the two zippers that are located close to the backside revealing the nice green customizable interior. You can't remove the centerpiece that's in a fixed position, but the rest of the compartments can be customized to your own needs. The configuration I've chosen for this shoot is to take two additional lenses. There's also room for a light in case that I needed that, as well as my Sony A7C. And I've decided to keep the separate shoulder bag inside the backpack containing my Mavic Air 2S. The inner pouch stores very safely and secure my MacBook Pro. As you can see, this is a pretty neat layout that fits perfectly for all the items that I've decided to bring. By the way, what type of bag are you using right now? I'm really interested to hear. So let us know in the comments below. On the right side of the bag will allow side access to the accessories that is stored inside. The bag. You can see I can simply just unzip it and then I can pull out the shoulder bag containing the drone. The lid for the side access to the bottom compartment further contains storage for your external batteries. There are three compartments, each having an indicator that can be shifted from green to red, indicating which of the batteries you have exhausted. That is pretty practical and something that I could see myself using. The upper side access pouch where I have easy access to the camera further includes a RFID protective pouch where you can store your credit cards or other sensible items. And they are being well protected from being scanned from the outside. On the front side, there is a very discreet pocket that goes from one side to the other, assuming being designed to carry a tripod or something similar. The big front pouch can be expanded additionally by using the zippers that are hidden inside. In that way, you have plenty of extra space to carry additional items that you wanna bring along. On the left shoulder strap, you'll find a very discreet compartment that will allow you to store additional stuff that you want easy access to while you're wearing the bag. 
It's not a huge compartment, so maybe this is a better position for your additional SD cards. The right side contains some elastic bands that might be ideal for temporary storing your lens caps while you're filming. As you can see, there's a lot of options with this bag. The shoulder bag can be easily unzipped where you have access to all your equipment in different layers. The inserts can be customized and positioned in a way so it fits the need for the specific drone that you have. The shoulder bag have an additional compartment in the lid that will allow you to store stuff like ND filters and SD cards for your drone. I've chosen the configuration where I have the drone on the top, I store the batteries below and then I've decided to have the remote towards the side of the shoulder. That provides easy access to everything that I need to get the drone airborne. Especially if you have remembered to put a fresh battery in the drone before storing it away. Now we're talking the shoulder bag. It occupies quite a lot of space inside the backpack. But once removed, you have that additional space where you can store clothing and something else that you want to bring along when you're on the road. That is pretty practical and offers a lot of flexibility. If you unzip the lid of the shoulder bag, you can increase the internal volume. It goes without saying, if you decide to do that, it will no longer fit inside the backpack. You can attach all sorts of stuff with the additional straps provided to the front of the backpack through these custom mounts sewed on with some red thread matching the PGI Y-Tech logo very nicely. The bag is wear and water resistant. As you can see, I've been using it a lot, so it has a bit of a wear and tear. The price according to the PGY Tech website is right now $199. And in case you're interested in picking one up, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. So this was an overview of the main features of the PGY Tech One Mo backpack in Twilight Black. There's a lot of options to customize this bag. There's no doubt about that. And you'll probably use it in a different way that I have decided. But at least what's important is that you have the possibilities to do it. So what do you think about uh, this type of two back system, then let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.